Uh, now you can hear me. Hi, Ev. We got a lot of friends we're waiting for. Well, we're going to get started since they're running late. How are you doing, bud? Good? Okay, we're going to start with a warm-up. So today, well, before we start the warm-up, we're going to be doing exercises that first make our muscles work and get stronger and then we're gonna do one after that that stretches those same muscles so we're gonna lengthen our muscles and strengthen our muscles all the way through our whole body okay so we're gonna take a little bit more time to talk about some of the exercises today too than we have been we're gonna learn some things about them so we're gonna start out i'm gonna have taylor start marching and get that warm-up going so that we can let more people in when they're ready Get those knees up nice and high. Awesome job. And let's push and pull with our arms. Reach and pull, pull those elbows back. Good. And let's breathe like a tree. Yesterday we were saying freeze like a tea. Now heels to your rear ends. Kick those booties. Kick those booties. Good job. Good. Ah, wisdom's coming. There we go. Okay, so keep kicking those heels to the rear ends. And now we're going to use those arms. Pull the elbows back. Big steps. Really big reaches with those heels. We must be having some slow internet today. It's taking a while to get everybody in today. Good. Okay. Keep reaching and pulling. Now we are going to freeze like a tree. Okay. Now we're going to go to TikTok side to side. Get those arms and legs going. Good. I think wisdom's coming on. Good. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Big, big motions. And let's freeze like a tree. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to get those calves all the way down to the ground. Reach up to the sky. Tickle your ceiling if you can. All the way down. And reach to the sky a little bit taller this time, all the way on the tops, the tips of your toes. And all the way down again. Reach all the way up to the sky. A couple more times. Reach down, all the way up to the sky. And last time, all the way down to the ground. And lift all the way up. Very, very nice. Now we're gonna take those big arm circles, get those arms all ready. <clears throat> Get our shoulder joints ready. We've got upper body strength, lower body strength, upper body stretches, lower body stretches. We're gonna get the whole body. And some muscles we're gonna hit, hit a couple times. Okay, let's go ahead and reverse. Good, okay, it's time to get rid of those sillies. Take a big inhale up. Exhale and let out all your sillies. And a big inhale up and exhale, let out all your sillies. And again, big inhale up, exhale and let out all your sillies. Good. Now, this time, a big breath in and exhale. Any bad energy you've got, any sad thoughts, any angry thoughts, let all of them go. All the good air in. Okay, so we are going to start with our first strengthening exercise. And you guys are pretty familiar with this. We've done it a lot. It's for our front of our legs and for our booty. Okay, the front of our legs are called our quadriceps and the back of the legs. Okay, so we're gonna work on the front and the back. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna sit down into a chair and lift all the way up. So we're gonna sit back into our heels Make sure we can wiggle our toes. So when you go down, make sure you can wiggle your toes a little bit. We want to push back into our heels rather than into our toes. And then stand all the way up. 
reach back and you can let your arms go out to help you lift your chest up and push those heels back and push your booties back just like we're sitting in a chair good job very nice squats we're going to do four more of these three two and one and now we're going to stretch out those muscles so this is the, the stretch that stretches those muscles out. We're gonna pull our knees together and push our hip forward, just like we do in our stretch at the end. And we're gonna hold that for about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch to the other side. We're gonna stretch that side out too. We can't be, Lopsided. We want to stretch on both sides. Make sure those knees are together. They're kissing, and your hip is forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now we're going to do those squats again. We are going to do 10 times, 10 times those squats. Everybody count backwards with me. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, good job. Five, push those booties back. Four, three, two, good job. And one. Okay, grab that foot again. And we're going to count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switch to the other side. Stretch that one out again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, that was the front of the leg and our booty. Now we're going to do our good morning. So we're going to do the back of our legs from right below our knee all the way up. Flat back, we're going to hinge on our hips, look down at the floor. I'm going to let our arms hang down a little bit like we're going to tickle the carpet. And then we're going to stand all the way up as tall as we can and pull our belly buttons in. And we really want to pull those belly buttons in at the, at the top. So we're going to flatten our back out like we're grabbing something on the floor and stand all the way back up. And we're going to do this 10 times. 10, all the way up, good. Nine, look straight down at the floor. Eight, try to push your chest down a little bit towards the floor. Two, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and last one. Okay, now we did the strengthening for back. You want to know the funny thing about this one is to stretch it. All we're going to do is we're going to let our head fall down towards the ground, kind of like we did during that last exercise, except now our back is more rounded. I like to call this one a ragdoll. You can roll side to side a little bit. Oh, that feels good, doesn't that, Taylor? Oh, I like this one. Okay, now let's roll it back up. And we're going to go flat back down again for our good morning flat back. So look at this, I could actually eat off Taylor's back when she's down, I could write on it. It's so flat, it's nice and flat. And then when she stands back up, she's all the way up tall. Good, all right, let's do our 10. Down, 10, down, nine, beautiful. Down, eight, down, seven, Six, I feel stronger already. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And let's land it back down like a rag doll. And you can let your arms go side to side a little bit. You can rock back and forth. We're gonna stretch out the back of the legs just like we strengthened them. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, and roll it up really slow all the way up to the sky and reach up. Oh, okay, so we did the 
front of our legs. We did our booties. We did the backs of our legs. I think we need to do some arms. What do you think? You ready for some arms? Okay, let's go to push-ups. We're gonna strengthen up our chest muscles. Do you know what other muscles it works besides your chest muscles? Where else do you feel it? Oh, your tummy, you should always be pulling your tummy in. Your chest, and then these muscles right here. These muscles right here, you know what those are called? Those are called triceps. And remember how we learned about quadriceps? They have four heads, triceps have three heads. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start out. Taylor's gonna start out on her toes, and she's gonna do as many as she can on her toes with her body in a straight line. And then when she, when she has to drop down to her knees, she's gonna go to her knees, just like that. But she's gonna be straight no matter what. Okay, we're gonna count backwards from 10. Okay, do as many as you can. Get ready, go. 10, nine, lead with your chest. Eight, seven, try to get down as far as you can. Six, five, four, good job. Excellent. And last one. Okay, now we gotta stretch those muscles out. Do you know how to stretch those muscles out? We're gonna take our hands behind our head. And we're going to pull our elbows back as hard as we can and open that chest up. So your hands are right behind your head and elbows out. Good job. And pull those back and try to tuck your tummy in. See if you can tuck your tummy in. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Nice, big, open chest. Okay, I think we're ready for another set of 10. 10 more push-ups. All right, let's get those strong chest muscles. Get ready and down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Good job. That was 20 push ups total. Very, very nice. I think we need some virtual high fives for that one. Okay, let's take our hands behind our head and open up those elbows. Try to pull those elbows to the wall behind you. You're just going to have to try to see if you can pull those elbows all the way to the skyscrapers across the top. And pull those elbows back. Pull those elbows back. Lift your chin up. And let's hold it for five more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we worked the front of our body a little bit, and we worked the, uh, the back of our arms a little bit. So now I think we need to work our back. Okay, so my favorite back exercise, bringing those arms up into a great big V, and then pull your elbows back to your booty and make a big W. Really squeeze, open up that chest, and lift it back up, and now slowly squeeze, 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 squeeze tighten it up in your back, and release it. Good. Elbows down and squeeze. Pull those belly buttons in. And up. Excellent. Squeeze. And up. Let's do four more. Four. Squeeze. Up. Three. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. And one. That always doesn't look like it's going to be all that much, does it? But you can really feel it. Yeah, if you really pull those elbows back. Okay, now we're going to stretch. So what I need you to do is take one hand and grab your wrist. And then the hand that is that you're grabbing the wrist, you're going to lift that one up. And then pull with that arm across your body. Very nice. Good job. You guys are awesome. And let's switch. Grab your other wrist with your hand and pull it over the other direction. Oh, that feels so good. I love stretching. It makes my muscles happy. My muscles get so much happier when they get stretched. Okay, let's try that again. Let's make our giant V and pull our elbows back to make our W. And all the way up into V, V for victory. And pull down those elbows. W for what's up? What's up, elbows? All the way up to your V. And now your booty's saying, what's up, elbows? All the way up into the V. Keep squeezing. Good job. All the way up. Squeeze for four more. And three more. Make that big W. Pull those elbows back. Two more. And one more. Okay, now grab that wrist and pull it across your body. 
body. Really reach those arms across. And grab that wrist on the other side. And do you know what kind of, what part of the back that was that we were working? It has a funny name. It has a funny name. All the muscles have funny names. It's what it, I like this one though. It's called the latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. And it's these muscles right here. Turn around, I'll show everybody. It's these muscles that go from right in here and they make a big V. So that's why we're making the B and C and the W, because we were making those muscles work right there. Latissimus dorsi. Want to trick somebody and say, hey, you have nice latissimus dorsi. They'd be like, whoa, what are you talking about? Okay, so we did the front of our chest already, and we did our back a little bit. Let's work our biceps. That's these muscles right here, okay? So we're gonna bring our elbows in, and we're gonna squeeze as tight as we can to make big muscles, and then release it down gently. And we're gonna squeeze up really tight, think about those muscles, and release it down. Squeeze all the way up tight, as tight as you can at the top, and release it down. Good. Squeeze, make those big muscles. Oh, look at those big muscles. I see those big muscles on everybody. And back down. Let's do four more all the way up. And back down slow. All the way up for three. Back down. We've got two more times. All the way up. And last one. All the way up. Okay, this one. Now stretch it out. We're actually going to take our hands and we're going to straighten out our arm and just pull our fingers back. We're going to stretch that all the way out. Ooh, doesn't that feel good? That relieves some stress too. Especially if you've been writing a lot or typing a lot. Okay, now let's switch to the other side. Pull those fingers back, straighten out your arms. Did you notice my whole arm? It does stretch your whole arm. Did you notice the name of this muscle? The bicep? Biceps, we talked about quadriceps, we talked about triceps. Biceps is how many heads? Two heads, yep, let's work those biceps again. Let's work the two heads of our biceps. Okay, elbows in, squeeze them. Oh, you got awesome biceps. Look at those. Squeeze it all the way up and down. Good job. Squeeze tight and back down. Really tight at the top. Uh, oh, biggest muscles ever. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Oh, I think we should feel those. They feel pretty good. How do you, what do they feel tight now? Oh, look at those muscles. Good job. All right, now let's stretch and pull those fingers back. Nice, straight arms. Awesome job, excellent job. All right, switch to the other side. I think it's time to work some more leg muscles, okay? This one, we're gonna have to balance a little bit. We're gonna take one leg out to the side just a little bit. If you wanna grab onto something, you can. On the, out, in the inside leg, the supporting leg, that's the one that you're gonna stand on. And we're gonna lift our ankle or our heel up and leave the heel towards the ceiling a little bit. So try to keep this leg straight and just lean it up and back down. Good. Lead with the heel. Excellent job. Slow on the way down. You don't want to go too fast. Awesome. How about four more? Three. Two and one. All right. Now we're going to do the other leg. Now we're going to do the other one. Outside leg lift. Good job. And we're working those balance muscles at the same time. But this, this leg is getting to work out too. We're concentrating on this one. The outer thigh, otherwise known as the abductors. Abductors. Did you know that? Well, those are abdominals, and these are abductors, yep. All right, last two, and one. Okay, so now we've got to stretch those muscles out. So we're going to grab one knee across our body and pull that knee across your body. 
So you want to take, if you have your, your right knee, you want to take your left hand and pull the right knee. Cross your body. It also stretches these muscles when we do our figure fours at the end. Very good job, very nice. Okay, and switch to the other side. Grab one knee with the opposite hand and pull it across. Good. Okay, let's do another set of those. Let's do, we're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, okay? Let's start with this leg. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, okay. Now we're gonna do this other leg. Take it out to the side, lift up your heel, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's stretch that. Pull it across your body with the opposite hand. Sit up nice and tall. Let's try to make our spine really, really tall. Good, and now we're gonna switch to the other side. Pull that knee across your body. Okay, now this one, we're gonna go all the way down on the ground. All the way down on the ground, and we're gonna take our legs up, and we're gonna crisscross our ankles, back and forth, crisscross the ankles. This one works our abdominals and our inner thighs. Can you feel that? Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, now we're going to stretch that one out. Remember our butterfly stretches? We're going to push those knees out to the side. Sit up nice and tall. Oh, that feels good. Those crisscrosses work a lot of muscles. They feel good. They strengthen up our swimming muscles. Okay, let's try that again. Lean back and let's crisscross those legs. Good. Make sure those ankles are coming all the way across and we're crossing our legs each way. And we're gonna go 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch it out. Woo. And those muscles, those are the inner thighs, and they're called the, I'll give you a hint. They bring your legs together, which is adding your legs together. We call them the adductors. So these are our abductors, and then those are our adductors. Okay, so keep stretching those other thighs. Good, sit it up nice and tall. Very, very, very good. Okay, I think the next muscles we're gonna work, we work the inside of the legs. We are gonna work our booties by themselves. So we worked our booties with the flex a little bit, but now we're gonna go on all fours, just like we do when we're doing our cat and cow. And we're gonna reach, reach our leg up, straight leg, not very high. We're just gonna lift that heel up. A little bit of a donkey kick. Lift it up, lift it up, pull your belly buttons in. This one also works our abdominals, our tummy muscles. Good, last one. Now switch to the other leg, put that leg straight out towards the floor and lift up with your heel and back down. Lift up with your heel and back down. Squeeze and release and squeeze and release. Good, lift that heel up for four more. Three, two, and one. Now this one, we're gonna push back into our child's pose. We 
reach our fingers out in front of us, rest our head on the floor, and push your booty back to your heels. Take a couple deep, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And try to melt into the floor. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good job. All right, let's work those booties again. Otherwise known as the gluteus. Gluteus maximus. Okay, legs straight out. Lift that heel up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switch to the other leg. Try to keep your back nice and flat and your tummy pulling in tight. Okay? All right, let's try it again, everybody. 10. We want to try to keep that booty down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good size, right? We already we did both sides. Okay, go into your child's pose. Push back into those heels. Put your booty back. Reach those arms out. So we're stretching a whole lot of muscles here. Not just our booty muscles. We're stretching our, our uh, shoulders. We're stretching those latissimus dorsi that we worked on already. Take a big breath in. Melt into the floor. Oh, that feels so good. And another big breath in. And melt into the floor. And I think we're ready to work some abdominal muscles. We're gonna alternate two different muscle groups this time. We're gonna do our planks, and then we're gonna do our Superman, okay? So we're gonna work the front muscles right here, and then we're gonna work the back muscles that go all the way up and down our spine. So let's start with our elbows down, look straight between our wrists and our body in a nice straight line. You wanna scoot all the way back though. A nice straight line. You can be on your knees or you can be on your toes. But you want to see how Taylor's looking straight down at her wrist? That's really good. That's what we want to do. Pull those tummy muscles in as tight as you can. Good job. Keep pulling in. We're going to count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Nice job. High fives, everybody. Okay, now we have to alternate that with our Superman. We're going to lift up and back down slow. And lift up both your arms and your legs at the same time. Really squeeze those muscles and release it slow. We don't want to just fall to the ground. We want to let our body down slow. So we're using our muscles to control how fast we go. Lift and slow, and lift, and slow. Couple more times, let's do two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch out the abdominals and our little cobra here, and it's also gonna stretch out our back, so we're doing double duty. So we're gonna go up into this little cobra, lift that chest up. Oh, that feels so good, lift your chin up a little higher. Good job. And let's go back into our plank. Let's see if we can hold our plank for 20 counts, okay? If you have to take a break during that 20, that's okay. Just do as much as you can and then do it again if you can. So on your elbows, on your toes, or on your knees, we're gonna count backwards, looking straight down at your wrist. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back to Superman's. Lift those arms and legs up at the same time. Lift. 
Oh, all the back muscles are nice and slow down. And lift all your back muscles and all the way down. There's a lot of muscles being worked here. Lift and back down. Lift and back down. How about four more? Lift. Three. Exhale. All your ears are coming up. Two. And one. Okay, now our little baby cobra. We're going to lift that chin up. Lift up, 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 and stretch out those muscles. Very, very nice. Excellent job. Okay, we have one more muscle that I want to work. Okay, this one's kind of fun. This one, we, we worked the tricep when we worked our chest, but we're going to work just the tricep this time. So I want you to take your hands right behind you, bend your knees. So start out holding your knees in tight. Hold them in really tight. Give yourself a big hug. Then take one hand right behind your booty. Take the other hand right behind your booty and see if you can lift your booty up off the floor. You did it. You did it. Now bend your elbows. Bend your elbows and let your booty back to the ground. And then push back up with your elbows straight. And bend your elbows down and push up. So it's a kind of a small motion. But we're down and we're pushing ourselves up. And down and push yourself up with your arm. And down, push yourself up with your arm. Last two, push. And last one, push. Oh. Okay, so this is where when we pat ourselves on the back, we're going to pat ourselves on the back, but pull that elbow a little bit with the other arm. You feel that right here? Oh, that's a good stretch. What muscle is this called, Taylor? This one. Triceps. Good job. Three heads. Three heads on that muscle. Okay, grab your other elbow, pat yourself on the back, and pull that elbow across. Good job. Okay, let's do that strengthening exercise again. That strengthen those triceps, and then we're going to lift them again. Lift your booty up, bend your elbows, push back, and lift your elbows back up straight. And push your elbows back and up. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. You got it. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. Left two. And last one. Catch yourself on the back, grab that elbow. Oh, we have worked all the major muscles except for one. We've got one more before we do our final stretch. Pull that elbow back. You know which muscle we haven't worked yet? Our shoulders. We haven't done our shoulders yet. So we're going to stand all the way up. We are going to take our arms down here, put them together, and we're going to lead up with our elbows. It's called an upright row. And we're going to go down, and we're going to lift, and we're going to go down, and lift the elbows. Good. Lead with your elbows. So your elbows should be what comes up the highest. There. Yeah. Good. Elbows up. Elbows up. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Now I have one more shoulder exercise. We're going to take our arms straight up to the side with our palms down and bring them down slowly back to front. And lift them up. Good. And back down. You only want to go to that where how we make our T. So we're only making a T and then coming back down. Make that T and come back down. Good. Make the T and back down. T. And down. T. Good. Okay, now this is a little bit more complicated of a stretch. We're going to take our arm, one arm, and we're going to bring it behind our back. Okay? Then I'm going to grab that hand a little bit with my other hand. Okay? Now, I'm going to make it even a little bit more of a stretch. I'm going to bring my ear pulled my, towards my shoulder. And you want to do it towards the up, towards the side, towards the side that you're pulling toward. Good. And now let's take the other wrist, 
pull it across our back and let our ear go to the other shoulder. Feel that stretch right in here? Right across there? Yeah. That's so good. Those muscles need some stretching. All right, I think we are ready for our final stretch. Good job. Let's break one foot behind, knees together, just like we did after we worked on one muscles. Forehead, quadriceps. Push that hip forward. Stand up nice and tall. We want our muscles to be really flexible and healthy and happy. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Grab that foot behind, knees together. Push the hip forward, make sure those knees are kissing. We want kissing knees. Push that hip forward, keep standing up tall. Very, very nice. And now let's sit all the way down to the floor. Straighten out our backs and reach our fingertips towards those toes, chest up. There's a lot of muscles in our body, huh? We had to work a lot of muscles to strengthen them all. But now we're stronger and we're better than we were before. Strong and flexible. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale and reach further towards those toes. If you can grab them, grab them. If not, just keep reaching towards them. Everybody's body is different. Let's hold it for 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back to the butterflies, feet together, knees down to the side. We're making those giant airplane wings, the biggest airplane wings ever. Push those knees to the side. Make your body as tall as you can. We're trying to reach our head up to the sky. Reach, 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 reach. While we push the knees down and take big breaths. Bring in all the good air and exhale all the used air. Bring in a big breath again, inhale all the good air. Exhale, all the used air. That's what our body does. It takes in good oxygen and it takes it all the way through our body and our muscles use it and our organs use it. And then we exhale all the stuff that's left over. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now bend one leg, bring your ankle across that knee, sit up nice and tall. Our bodies are pretty amazing, I think. Pretty amazing. I think we're gonna, when we give ourselves a great big hug today, we're gonna tell our body how amazing it is. Keep pushing that knee out to the side, sit up tall. Good, and switch to the other side. And we have to be pretty proud of ourselves for moving our body too. It's so important that we move our body. It makes us healthier and happier. When we exercise, there's actually things that are made in our body that make us happy. Like a happy pill. Exercise is a happy pill. Who wouldn't like that? Okay, let's bring it all the way up. Bend one leg, straighten the back leg, push all your weight on your front leg, and push that heel down to the floor. Get a great big stretch through that baby cow muscle, through our calf. Good job. Excellent job, you guys. Those are really, really good calf stretches. Okay, now bring it in a half step. Bend both knees and lean onto that front leg and push that heel to the back. Good, that's a little lower into your calf. more towards your heel, and even sometimes you'll feel that at the bottom of your feet. Okay, let's stand it all the way up and switch sides. Push that back heel down with a straight leg in back and a bent leg in front. Keep pushing that heel down. And bring it in a half step, sit down and lean forward. Push that back heel to the ground. Good. 
Good, take a big inhale in. Let's take those hands behind, straighten out our arms. Oh, squeeze the shoulder blades together, those big chicken wings. And pull your arms away from your body a little bit. Lift your chin up. Try to lift your chin up and pull your belly button in a little bit. Find that belly button, good job. Then you get those arms a little bit further away. There we go, good job. Oh, so good. Okay, now it's time to pat ourselves on the back. Let's give ourselves a big pat on the back because we did awesome today. We were awesome exercises and we are stronger and more flexible than we were when we started, right? Okay, and then other hand, give yourself a pat on the back. What do you want to tell yourself? What do you want to pat yourself on the back for today? I want to pat myself on the back for doing exercise. What do you want to pat yourself on the back for? Getting your schoolwork done, that's a good one. That's a good one, pat yourself on the back. And now we have to give ourselves a great big hug side to side. Say thank you for letting me move today. What a good body. Our bodies need our love. Okay, and a big hug from Coach Tiffany and a big hug from Taylor. One more big inhale up. And exhale. Great job, you guys. Give yourselves a big hand and a big high five. I'll see you later. Bye, 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 Mason.